Each year at Bright Star, our clients and their families send stories of how they've been touched by Bright Star's care professionals to nominate their caregivers who are making more possible for our annual Caregiver of the Year Award. The finalists are selected by a team of judges and invited to Bright Star's annual conference to be recognized for their dedication, compassion, and hard work. In 2011, the Caregiver of the Year finalists joined us in Las Vegas. Before the award ceremony, we had an opportunity to sit down with them to talk about their experiences at Bright Star and the care they provide each and every day. Caregiver of the Year finalist Debbie Glaze journeyed all the way from the Bright Star office in Chesapeake, Virginia. The nurse that was taking care of my neighbor that lived behind me who had a stroke and dementia told me that she was looking, trying hard to find someone to work for an hour in the morning and three hours in the afternoon. I told her I'd be happy to. Here's what Debbie had to say. I was petrified going into a totally different career field. Bright Star sounded real peppy and it's like, I'm cool, I can be a Bright Star, I can do this. And Mike Walton, Walton's Mountain, the, how much more friendly can you get than that? And they have, they've been, Mike's office has been great in every way. I was doing actually working on a floor in that facility and doing private duty at the same time. Uh, I did the work there for three months, going home every day crying because I couldn't give the personal care that I felt like I wanted to and they needed. So I quit there and been working with Mike every day seven days a week ever since. <laughs> we can take our time with the one-on-one -on -one. and a uh, perfect example with me is when the ladies I take care of in the morning. If I were not there and Bright Star were not involved in her care, she would not get out of bed ever because she can't do it on her own. She can go in a wheelchair. Her mind, she's nine, almost 96. Her mind is perfectly fine. She is a comedian. She is funny. We have a great time together. But because uh, she has a tremendous fear of falling, whether it be from bed to chair, because she did take a fall about a year and a half ago and broke her leg in three places. She remembers every moment of that and the 20 minutes it took the EMTs to get her out of her bathroom and the horrible bumpy ride to the emergency room. So her fear is extremely intense, but it's with the trust that I have built with her that has allowed her to let me get her dressed, get her out of bed, put her in a chair, pretty much do what I need to because she knows I will not let her fall and get hurt. At the 2011 Caregiver of the Year Award Ceremony, Bright Star of Chesapeake owner Michael Walton came on stage to read the letter that the client and their family wrote to nominate Debbie for the Caregiver of the Year Award. This is their story. 